finally back in the field and it's been about two weeks since we were last in the field. Right now I'm taking the fertilizer spreader. I'm going to the co-op and I'm gonna grab some urea. We're gonna fertilize some stuff that I was tilling up around the sloughs yesterday in the wet spots. Right now my dad's planting. He's planting something that I tilled yesterday. And so things are finally starting to dry out. I've had to hit some things with the cultivator to help move it along quicker. But we're gonna get in about 100, 120 acres of corn today. So we just got pulled into the fertilizer shed at the co-op. Right now they're loading up 15,000 pounds of urea and they're putting on Nutrisphere, which will make the fertilizer orange, coats the urea, and it blocks it from an enzyme that's in the soil, or it's on the soil, it's, it's everywhere. And it prevents the urea from being converted to NH3, which is ammonia, which is volatile. And that's how we lose a lot of our fertilizer because if it doesn't rain for a long time, but it stays humid, reaction goes a lot quicker. We lose a lot more of our nitrogen due to volatility. Just pulled into the field that we're running in today. First thing I gotta do is we got a ground driven system. And so I gotta engage this. And all I gotta do is take that out, shove it up a bit, and then put this pin back in. We already got it set up here. We adjust it by opening and closing the gate. And so this first pass, I'm just gonna do freehand and then once I get to the North side there, I'll set up an AB line and get trucking. Well, every time I try to get the auto steer working, a code comes up and so it's, it's not gonna steer for me. It's giving me the lines on the screen. So I'll just have to follow the lines the whole time. Across this grass ditch is where my dad's planting right now. And uh, yesterday, I was tilling up the wet spots in this field and there were a lot of them and we also tilled and fertilized about 50 acres out in that field over there and so we were, we were pretty busy yesterday. There's a few things that I need to watch besides this line trying to stay, stay straight. So the first thing is I want to check and make sure that this number right here is hovering around 540. That's the revolutions per minute of the PTO. And you want to have it at 540 because that's what the spinners are running at. And when they're running at 540, that's when you get that 50 foot wide width. And then the other thing I need to watch is I need to glance back every once in a while and make sure that I can see the fertilizer being thrown. There's a belt in the back and sometimes that belt falls off or it breaks and then you'll just be running a flat trail of fertilizer in a narrow band and that's obviously not good because you're wasting your fertilizer. It's not getting spread out everywhere. Plus, nothing's gonna grow in that one spot for many years. So some may wonder why we use urea when we're fertilizing or to put nitrogen in our field. Urea is kind of the best thing around the area. That's what most people use. Um, we don't have anhydrous. We don't have an anhydrous dealer around here. And so, you know, there's a lot of upsides to using anhydrous ammonia, but we don't really have it in our area. So we can't, we can't pick it up anywhere. Urea is kind of the next best thing. It's it's really easy to apply. So I about got stuck in that last pass. I was flirting with the devil a little. I was thinking I was getting something done, but now I'll just have to start turning every time I get close to that water, because I don't really want to get stuck too bad today. 
So comment below on what type of fertilizer you use to get your nitrogen out. We use urea. Do you guys use anhydrous or maybe some AMS or a mixture of them or maybe some 32%? Do you use liquid or dry? Well, I looked back and I wasn't seeing anything. Let's make sure that it's not just the, the belt that fell off. Yep, so you can see there's no fertilizer in there. So now I'm gonna just walk back until I don't see any more fertilizer on the ground. And I'll stick this flag in, and then I'll go back to the co-op and grab some more fertilizer. It's starting to be pretty heavy right here. So when I come back, I'm just gonna drive up, turn around right here, flip her back on and continue going. So I got 6,000 pounds that'll finish me up at the field I'm currently in. And then we're gonna start top dressing that stuff we got planted uh, two weeks ago. And so I'll have to come back and hook up to a high wheel and and start, start uh, top dressing on two fields that we have planted already. Acre field is finished up now and I shut the apron off I'm gonna head back home there's a little bit left in the spreader and I'll spread that out at home the spreader just ran empty I'm at home I'm top dressing that corn as you can see these wheels aren't set up for this but I had to get it empty and it looks like most of the time the corn's still staying up so now I'll just disengage the, the drive and then I'll unhook this run back to the co-op grab their high wheel and then I'll finish the rest of this, which won't take too long. So there's a change of plans. Uh, I texted Nathan, he's the manager over at the co-op, and he said that spreader wasn't gonna be ready for a bit because it's pretty rusty and they gotta run to town and get some parts. And so I'm gonna hook back onto the spreader. I'll get enough urea to finish that field and then I'll unhook again. And then hopefully by that time, the high wheel will be ready. tank of Nutrisphere that I was talking about earlier. They bring it down into here and then it runs through a tube into the blender and then it blends the, it blends the Nutrisphere with the urea as it goes through this tube. So I 
think we're just gonna barely have enough. Good guessing on my part. I uh, I take all the credit on that one. So I, uh, you know, drove home, unhooked the fertilizer spreader because I thought we were done with it because we were gonna use that high wheel, and did some did some calling, did some calculating, and it sounds like we're gonna have to use the little bit that's still in here. So long story short. I'm hooking back up to our fertilizer spreader. Well, we got that empty again. And I wasn't paying attention very well. But it looks like I caught it fairly quickly. There's still fertilizer right here. So I'd say it's pretty thick about right here. So I'll put this flag in, and then I'll run to the co-op. Hopefully beat that rain. Uh, it looked like it cleared up a little bit. Put that high wheel on and finish this field. All right, I got the high wheel. Let's see, you can see here there's a lot more clearance on either side of the wheel. So we won't be running over corn. Grab my flag. And next time you see me, I'll be in the yard. I'm back to the shed now. I got about 200 acres of fertilizing done today. I unhooked the fertilizer spreader again because we got it hooked up to the crust buster. Tomorrow the vice president of crust buster is coming out to talk to us about how to set this machine up and we're also going to talk a little bit about the history and what the company does and I'll be taking video of that and I'll, I'll put that up here on YouTube as soon as I can and so make sure you be watching for that. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.